Good afternoon and welcome to the latest issue of Play Print 21, the weekly video news bulletin for the ANZ Australia New Zealand print industry. This issue is sponsored by Ball & Doggett, Australia's largest supplier of printable materials and consumables. Printers around the country are dusting off their passports uh, and looking at a full schedule of overseas uh, industry events next year, 2022. Uh, as Qantas brings forward international flights uh, and suggests a return to a full timetable will be soon. Victoria and New South Wales, uh, 1st of October, travel will be going on. First off is the EFI Connect event in Las Vegas in January, followed by Hunkler Innovation Days in Switzerland in February. Uh, the first Label Expo since 2019 takes place in April in Brussels. And global wide format show FESPA slated for the end of May in Berlin, uh, with Printing United, the big US show in Las Vegas in October. Uh, the thrice postponed FESPA Global has actually just taken place in Amsterdam. It attracted just shy of 8,000 visitors, which is around down by around two thirds on the normal number. Uh, as COVID restrictions obviously kept printers, uh, particularly from outside Europe, but even from within Europe, to a minimum. Uh, Australian and New Zealand printers, of course, are not no notable in number at FESPA usually, uh, were amongst those who were absent uh, with COVID travel restrictions preventing attendance. Now, however, uh, flights are back. Marketing and communications company IVE is celebrating a century in business with what was the Link newspaper founded in 1921 by Oscar Selig, a grandfather of current executive chairman Jeff Selig. From its humble beginnings as a uh, suburban newspaper in Balmain, New South Wales, uh, the company began printing in the 1960s and by the 1990s had evolved into a $30 million a year print business uh, based in nearby Smithfield, where it's still based. Uh, in the 30 years since though, it's been through turbocharged growth, acquiring, diversifying, listing, and becoming the biggest player in the industry. Uh, with sales of $660 million last year, a bit to $100 million in that financial year. Also growing, although not at quite the same rate, is PDQ Labels, uh, which has made its first move into digital printing, installing a screen L350 UV inkjet press from Jack Technologies and seeing its turnaround times go from two weeks to two days as a result. Uh, that press was actually the former DS Labels machine, six years old, fully refurbished by screen before it went into, uh, into PDQ. The National Print Awards and the New South Wales, West Australian Victorian Pikers take place next Friday. Walkley award-winning journalist and well-known broadcaster and media personality Patrick Condron uh, will be master of ceremonies uh, at the live event at the 38th National Print Awards this year's awards are taking place in Brisbane uh, and will be live and then we live stream to the state piker events uh, which are taking place on the same evening at the same time in Perth and Sydney and also live streamed into the homes of printers in Victoria uh, and South Australia. Our print industry recruiter James Cryer has self-published a new book, The Romance of Letterpress, a diary of his grandfather's travels as he journeyed across the US as a 20-year-on-year-old freshly minted letterpress printer uh, from Sydney. Uh, the book, which was six years in the making according to James uh, and involved extensive research, uh, documents the experiences of uh, Wall Cryer from 1913-1914, just before the Great War, capturing the essence of society before that war, examining the contrast between uh, two cultures, the US and America, US and Australia, and highlights the impact of printing processes and products during that time. That's it for this week's issue of Playprint 21. Go to print21.com.au for all these stories in depth and more, for links to register to the print awards. Thanks to our sponsor, Ball & Doggett, Australia's largest supplier of printable materials and consumables. This is me, Wayne Robinson, editor of Print 21, signing off for another week.